Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lord Exus, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XV Pocket Edition HD. Now in the last episode, we had to travel to a place called Cape Kaim to meet up with not only Iris, but Cindy and Sid as they tried to prepare a boat for us to travel to Altissia. When we got there, however, we found out that there was one piece missing. They needed a rare ore known as Mithril, which of course has been in, featured in many Final Fantasy games, in order to make the boat or ship work correctly. So we had to go on a little journey to find this Mithril. Along our way, we fought a new enemy. Her name is Ariana Highwind. And uh, yeah, she's a Dragoon mercenary and also one of the commanders of the Niflheim Empire. We fought her off and managed to survive, although I did mess up the combat quite a bit. Something I'm not particularly proud of. And from there, we ended up going on a dungeon delving quest. At which point, we actually teamed up with Ariana with the help of Arden Azunia, the very suspicious man that he is, High Chancellor of the Niflheim Empire. We acquired the Mithril and then returned to Cape Kaim, at which point we made our way to Altitia. That's where the episode ended. So I want to get back into this, guys. Let's see where we're going this time. Okay, let's get in. On to Chapter 6, Altitia. Okay, so here we are at Chapter 6. I called it Altissia. That's the place we're going, but it's actually called Callings. Okay, let's get in. You know, I've always wanted to go sailing like this. Not many opportunities living in insomnia. Out here, it's just us and the horizon. It's amazing. It's life changing. We've quite a ways to go until we reach Altisha, so keep gushing to your heart's content. When we step off the boat, we'll be in a foreign country. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. Then to think this is where we were headed to begin with. We've been through a lot. And there's still more to come. So next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A serpent said to embody the roar and rage of the sea. We'll have to see for ourselves. Can't let Lady Luna Freya do all the heavy lifting. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna? Yeah. Well, we need to make sure she's alright before anything else. Indeed, her well-being is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. You think Lady Lunafreya is in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the Ring. I have no faith their ruthless ambitions will stop short of harming the Oracle. Without the Ring, the Crystal's no more than a rock. Hmm, I suppose. Does anyone know how Lady Lunafreya came to have the ring? It seems likely His Majesty entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time, all the way to Altitia. The ring is important, and so is Leviathan. But Luna comes first. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Ravos. Hmm. Do you recall an apparatus in place of his arm? Yeah, I remember. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion. But in its place, his power? That would help explain how a son of Tenebrae suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. 
Now that you mention it, his strength did seem sort of supernatural. I just chalked it up to the Oracle lineage. His ancestry may be part of it, but that alone wouldn't account for his freakish strength. I wonder what could have happened to him. What are the odds the Empire will crash the pool party with Leviathan? Consider it a guarantee. They felled a god to prevent Noct from receiving his blessing, and they'll do so again. But we beat him to the big guy, thanks to our friendly guide. <laughs> Never know which way that one's gonna move next. And the Chancellor has an agenda all his own. Sometimes it helps, like when he called off his army and let us escape. But he was still a creep about it. Well, it feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. I just don't know what. Reckon we'll see him again? Certainly hope not. Not your type? No love lost for phonies. As Gladio said, his actions are motivated not by altruism, but by self-interest. And when he does come to our aid, I see only condescension in his eyes. Yeah, can't argue with that. Ever think you think too much? Sometimes, but it's always preferable to the alternative. So, soon you'll have your old man's ring back. Yeah, when we arrive in Altitia. Good thing. To him, it was his heritage. Is that what my dad said? Carrying a royal line ain't a task to be taken lightly. For a small thing, that ring can sure weigh heavy. After he became king, I only ever saw his face in the paper. Wait, weren't you at the coronation? No, I was long gone from the city. Must have been invited, at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man. Right at the end of the trip. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. We buried the hatchet years later, but never talked face to face again. Should have paid a visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Got the regalia in the hold, but you're all gonna stay in Altitia for a good while, right? Yes, we believe so. In that case, I'll tune her up for y'all. Not that I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> Well, with Cindy looking after the old girl. If you say she's good, she must be great. She was never afraid of hard work. Heaven knows she had a hard childhood. A hard childhood? He means her parents. Lost them both when she was little. It was big enough to understand, though. And to hurt. But you wouldn't guess that, seeing her now. Not at all. She's always so cheerful. Well, that ought to tell you how far she's come. Well, you must have seen your fair share of Altitia by now. Yeah, only done been the once. Stayed a good while, though. What's it like? Big old city. Big, okay. Well, it ain't the crown city. Different, got it. You'll see for yourself. Foreign lands seldom lend themselves to trite explanations. Uh, are we there yet? Well, didn't you say you always wanted to go sailing? Yeah. But all this ocean gets kind of bland after a while. 
Bush. Last time I checked, it was amazing and life-changing. Well, I'm all talked out. Can't be far to Altitia now, right? We'll be there in no time. Nice having the wind at our backs. Lodgings are a first order of business. All work and no play? Makes it miss a dull boy. Someone has to babysit you too. Well, you're welcome to sleep in the wild. Ain't no hotel, but I know a fella has a place. Hey now. Westcombe ran with Reggie and me way back when. Oh, was he the other one in that photo with the garage? Yeah, runs himself a diner or a cafe or something. Go and see for yourselves. Sure. Does the place have a name? McGee or Magoo or uh, Mago. That's the one. Nice. You can count on Old West. <laughs> He'll chew your ears off. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are finally getting to play some game. That was quite a lot of a story, but after the end of the last chapter and saying goodbye to the Kingdom of Lucis, then we needed some context. The guys just reflecting on their time in Lucis and everything that had happened so far. And this is where we were heading to. This is, of course, Altissa. Okay, will Sid say anything to us? He will not. Okay, let's move on. Purpose of your visit purpose uh... uh ask ignis or leave it to sid let's leave it to sid let's see what sid has to say sid it's all yours hey didn't we just <sighs> well, we're here to visit uh, a joint never heard of it unless you're referring to the alternate entry program Okay, and what's that? In which case, you may pay the levy directly to me. Mm, oh, what a racket. This is your trip. You cough up the cash. Wow, that bastard just stole a thousand gil from me. I should have talked to Ignis. And I skipped a very small amount of conversation. Considering I didn't do that for the whole of the, uh, the... Boat ride over here. I'm a bit disappointed in myself. Anyway, let's move on. Check Westcombe's place out. Yeah, let's all go to Mako. Perhaps we'll even make it in time for tea. And we'd better start looking now. Okay, so we've got to find Westcombe's bar that Sid, uh, Sid told us about. But before that... Did you guys notice the same thing I noticed on the intro to Altisha? There are damn cactus statues all over this place. Let's have a look at this map. Okay, there are also, there are also two ingredients. Not all of this place is connected, so we're probably going to have to take little boats across the waterways. Yeah, definitely going to have to happen. Okay, let's look around. Whoa, care for some gelato on this fine day? I would love some gelato, but not right now. And there's no boat here. What's on here? Altitia Tour, exploring the walls of water. Sounds great, we'll do that momentarily. What does Sid have to say now? You're not staying at a hotel? Fancy rooms were never my style. Need food? Managed to stay fed all these years. Not gonna starve to death now. And old Wes will see that I don't go thirsty either. 
Okay, so we do have a hotel here in Altitia. I don't know if we can choose to stay at that. Uh, no. Born and bred, but with a twist. What's his story anyway? He started with a wound. Wes stayed here while he recovered. Then he stayed for good and opened up that shop of his. After the journey with His Majesty, he settled here and opened shop. He's an odd specimen. Okay, good to know. I didn't actually ask for any of that. Sid just kind of talked to us, so... Anyway, what's this? The Laville, Altitia. Conveniently located near a gondola stop, our hotel is the perfect base for expo exploring Altitia. Luxuria in the comfort of our spacious and well-appointed suites. Okay, good to know. So there is, like I said, there is a hotel here. Okay, let's have a look around. Okay, let's just go down here. Nothing here. Gonna have to keep looking at this map because there's loads of different places to go. They're extending the exhibit for Lady Lunafreya's wedding dress. <gasps> the Vivian Westwood? But wasn't that a memorial for her passing? Well, now it's a memorial for her safe return. Let's go see it while we still can. Oh, could that be the dress we read about in the papers? Doubtless. The designer's name is the same. Want to check it out? That depends on the groom. Might still... Who says we can't call it back on? It can still happen. True enough. Let's keep an eye out for it. Uh, okay, see the wedding dress on display. That's another thing we've got to do. Let's just, uh... Let's go up here and round, see what's up here. Lots of things to see in Altissia by the looks of it. Probably won't be doing combat for some time, which is fine. How dare you, Cactor? You try to get away. So we found our first Cactor. There's six in this place. Jesus Christ. I better scour the whole place. Uh, they're going to be in cheeky places as well, aren't they? Our chef recommends Tartine au Caviel. Uh, for those Intimate conversations for those moments with a special summer reserve, one of our private booths. Sweet. Okay. Could go for a taste, though. Okay, so let's have a look around. So, something over here, there's like a little mini you know, gondola ride. We're definitely going to be taking one of those later. Nothing says bromance like gondola rides. You lose sight of that when there's so much else to see. Okay, whatever you say, Gladiolus. I was just checking out there wasn't a cactus hiding from me. There is not. Yeah, there's no way past here. Just double checking. Got six of these little bastards to find. They have become my new arch nemesis. It's a photographer's dream. What is? I see the next one. It's up here. Got you. Okay, so we've got a few things to do, and we can now finally switch to see the wedding dress on display, which is what I intend to do. Whereabouts is that on the map, actually? Oh, there's things flashing up everywhere. Two yellows as well. But the two yellows are other side quests by the looks of it. Okay, lot to do here, guys. Lot to do. Got some flowers. What's this about? Set it with flowers. Include a card to make sure they get a message. Okay. So, does... No, Lady Luna Freya has to know I'm not dead, that I am actually acquiring the, uh... The different Eidolans of this world. She has to know that. This time we're after the Hydrian, so Leviathan. And is that... This is a Cosmogony book. The Crystal. There once lived a man, born immortal, but blessed with powers divine, conjuring a collection of glaives. He dispelled the darkness, plaguing our star. As a reward for his efforts... The gods granted him a holy stone, the crystal, which he was to guard at all costs, for it would one day choose a king to see us through the coming disaster and lead us to salvation. Interesting. So that's a little bit about Noctis, but about someone else as well. A man who's meant to be guarding the crystal. Well, it wasn't Regis, because there have been other kings. So, another godly figure. Ah, and we can talk to this guy for a gondola ride. We don't want to do that just yet, though. We've got to check everywhere on the sections we can get to by foot um, to make sure we don't miss any characters. The gondola will take us over there, I should imagine. 
Yeah. Let's check everywhere by foot first, guys. Okay, round here. Hello, people. Have fun with your music. Sid wasn't kidding. It is big. <laughs> Crowded, too. We totally Can I? A picture with that guy. Shouldn't we, like, ask first? <laughs> For one picture? Right? Come on. Okay. Are you? Cute ladies. Yay! Yay! Are you taking random pictures with a child? And you just haven't asked his permission. He's just chilling here. Okay, we can't go through here. It will not allow. It's okay. There are no There's another way around. It's fine. Just check from here. Can we see any more cactus? Not immediately from here. I will find you, cactus. I swear to God. Yes, that's right. Ravis Knox Flore, Lady Lunafreya's older brother. I didn't know she had a brother. A fearless one at that. And now he's the high commander. So they were talking about Lord Ravis. We were talking about Lord Ravis on our way here. And that uh, he's lost an arm in battle. So that, I think it was his, it's actually his left arm. Yeah, his left arm was like covered in purple and white armor. Purple, white and black armor. I thought that was his actual arm just encased in armor, but it's apparently mechanical. All three of us. You are a lucky man. And we are... Uh, we got another character statue, which is good, so there was one hiding here, but this does not actually lead to where I want it to lead to, so... Or at least it won't let me. So it looks like we're going to have to take that gondola ride. But we've got three out of the six, so the other three must be in other locations. I haven't seen any, unless I'm missing one. In which case, feel free to shout at me. Not that I'll actually get you anywhere. This isn't live. I can't hear you. Gondola. Care for a ride? Uh... Okay, we're going to go to the Ministerial Quarter Station, please. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. Uh, well, thank you. I mean, it should have been a pleasure. We didn't go very far. Um, okay, yeah, so we're over here. So we'll go here first. This is nowhere near where we need to be to complete the main quest. Um, yeah, just checking the other ingredients up there as well. Damn, this map is sensitive. Okay, let's look around for more cactars. Okay, none right here. They say if you touch him, he'll turn to stone. Oh, fine. For now, but soon. Hey, cut it out. Okay, so I'm pretty sure those kids. Oh. What's up, Iggy? I've come up with a new recipe. Can't wait to try it. Okay, so sea bass saute includes a sea bass fillet and a tenebrian oak. Okay, cool, cool. We like it. Another new dish for us, or will be once we get the second ingredient, which of course is up there on the map. Okay. Yeah, so this way. I have to keep looking at the map. Sorry, I'm not familiar with this town yet, guys. Okay. A goddess as merciful as the sea is wild. May Leviathan long protect this land. Peace be unto the providence of Arcado. Ledalus Aldercapt. The Emperor of Niflheim. Okay, so that's Ledalus Aldercapt. That evil bastard. He made this statue. He had this statue commissioned. But he's evil as fuck. Also... Uh, Leviathan doesn't look like that, and I don't think it's a goddess. Um, not unless this is 
not an interpretation of what Leviathan's meant to look like, and this is simply a statue uh, of a random woman with wings like an angel. But yeah, Leatherless Older Capped. Very, very evil. So. Uh, okay, so up here. Where are these cactus? Stop Lady Luna Freya's wedding dress. Let's take the gondola back. Okay, so what's in the window? Wine? We serve a full selection of popular Accordo wines. Ask one of our certifi certified uh, sommeliers to help you choose. I um, hope I pronounced that word correctly. I didn't actually know what that was. Yeah. Let's hit up Margo later. Ooh, mega potion. Yes, we're going to hit up the place we need to go, but first... There it is! Look at that! It is a picture of Cactor. Also, there's a picture of Lady Luna Freya in her dress. Is that right? Cutting edge art from a hot new artist. Transform your home today. Wait a second. I definitely recognize this style from somewhere. Okay. But more important, I found a cactor. Hey, fellas. Care to get your portrait drawn? Have her sketch your portraits. I'm going to have to say absolutely. There. Have a look. Wow. This is... What? What's what? Wait. That's me? But... <laughs> Without a doubt. Huh. I'd say she did a fine job capturing our most prominent features. <laughs> prominent features? <laughs> oh, that is absolutely amazing. Do you know what? For a second, I thought that's what it might be. That is hilarious. Uh, they were laughing as much as I was. That's absolutely amazing. My nose is not that prominent. Had a custom portrait of Nocton Company. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. Amazing sense of humor, Square. Amazing sense of humor. Ah, uh, uh, big laughs, big laughs. Okay, so we've got this over here. An ether. Don't know why the camera pitch shifted that much, but uh, we've got the cactus here. So we need to find two more. Ah, oh, that's amazing. It's going to take me a while to get over that picture. I actually, I mean, the episode is going to have the same name as the chapter, but that almost makes me want to name the chapter something like an amazing portrait or an amazing picture. Ah, uh, fantastic. I'm a happy chappy now. Okay, moving on. You know what they say, the simple things. Okay, we need to get a gondola ride back then to that other place. So, we need to go to the floating market station and Mago. Uh, I'm assuming the Laville station is back where we started. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. No, I'm sure it has been a pleasure. This it? Gotta be Mago! Classy. Okay, yes, a little bit classy, but I don't want to go near that red exclamation in the mark yet. Because I see the cactus statue there, but there needs to be... One more. Plus, we've got a couple of side quests. One of them's going to be the dress, right? Yes. One hell of a crowd. And that's the dress. My word. Everyone looks so happy. And it's all because of this one dress. Yeah. Real glad for you that Lady Luna Freya is safe and sound. Yeah. Well, that settles it. You gotta make it happen. Become a symbol of the peace. After we tie up all the loose ends, let's think about the ceremony. A fine idea. Yeah, I'll think about it. Well. 
Okay, so uh, we could, just by finding the dress, we got 2,400 experience. That's pretty cool. Also, Vivian Westwood. Uh, that's both a phrase or a sort of Easter egg, a point and a, point and a nod towards a real-life fashion designer plus a previous Final Fantasy character from another game with the same first name, I believe. Uh, anyway, let's move on. Let's find us a character and just like that, when I try wearing right there. Battle gear with pride. Okay, they're talking about like battle gear for some reason. What is this? Leviathan statue. This looks more like Leviathan. A statue of the Tide Mother depicted with a long horn bristling form, the body of a fish. According to custom, you can write a wish on a paper bird and throw it at the statue. If your wish bird flies into the sea goddess's mouth, your wish will come true. I don't see that happening. Anyway, let's go up here. Let's just uh, smash this. Awesome. And we've collected the second ingredient. Another 2,000 experience or 1,500. Awesome things. What is this? Wish birds. Write a wish, bird, wish on a paper bird. Throw the wish bird toward the mouth of the Tide Mother. If the wish bird flies into the sea goddess's mouth, she will grant your wish. They're launching Throwing wishing stuff? birds. Would Count you boys in. like to give it a try? Absolutely. They're an old Altitian tradition. You write your wish on a paper bird and you throw it at the statue. If it lands in the mouth, your wish will come true. You hear that? Our wishes are waiting in the wings. <sighs> so, what'd you wish for? It's a secret. As usual. Okay, so we actually got it in. I thought I'd have to do some sort of mini game. I actually prefer that I didn't have to. Um, okay. Moving on, so we have... Oh, no, there is another side quest or something down here. I want to see it. I'm not leaving until I've seen it. It's not cactus, so it doesn't matter. It's going to be cool. Speech. <sighs> With both Leviathan and the ring in one another place, one. we can bet our asses they'll come out in full force. Okay, so they're talking about the Niflheim Empire again, and then there was an overlap with uh, the treasure map. The points to paper scraps. Let's see where it takes us. Please don't be the whole of Altitia. God damn it. Oh my god, that is quite a ways back. So it is the whole of Altitia. God damn it. I'm not going to Mago yet. I need to complete quests. I am going to go and get the character statue though. Leviathan's my I... favorite. Yeah, yeah, peasants keep talking. Rub shoulders with the Empire by choice. Everybody... Well, at least they know Lady Luna Freyre isn't actually joined the Empire, but I need you, Cactor. Thank you. Thank you. Found all the Cactors in Altitia. Hello, sir. Splendid. Where are we off to? Uh, the Ministerial Quarter, please. This would make a good pretty shot, too. Really? Oh, you're right. And look at all the little fishies. Makes me want to catch them all. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. Of course it's been a pleasure. Have you ever met me? I'm goddamn amazing. Anyway, let's move on. Our first treasure, or the first... Yeah, it's, it's about here. No, nope, wrong side. Need to be around this side. Found it. That's what I was trying to say. The first scrap of mystery is here. Ooh, yeah, I know where that is. That's in the first section. I went there. Yes, I know where you are. God damn it. Back to the other way. Well, at least you guys get to see nice, pleasant gondola rides all over the place. 
Yes, I very much do to the Laville sa station. Thank you. Wow. Alticia is really something else. Oh, we ain't Lucis anymore, fellas. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. Okay, let's find this next scrap of paper and... Was it up here and down the other side? No. No, it was not. Can't go over there because those women are blocking our path. Is it this way then? Greetings. Somewhere. Damn it. Down the other stairs. I see where it's at. Yeah. Down here. To be ah uh, here. We actually found it. Ah. That seems problematic because I think that's where those women are standing. Does that not look like that to you? Let's go up there and have a look. Maybe they've moved. They have not moved. But yeah, look. Not seeing a way in. Do we have to wait again? Sure seems like it. No. I need to get through there. There's other people are blocking it from the other side. Flavor of the day is. Hmm. Let's do it. You're so bad. Here we go. Can we not force these people to move? And from the other side is actually Lady Lunafreya's dress. Hmm. Last one. Make this one like. Hmm. Will you guys move? Did I just have to wait long enough? You just said thanks to her. Ah, finding a way through there. We'll have to go around the other way. There's no way we can like drop off here or something. Make for awesome quick travel, no? Yeah, that's a no. Maybe those old guys will be gone by the time I next go around there, but still. We'll go back round there. We'll find a way to figure it out, guys. Don't worry. Hello, gondola man. You don't have to sing at me. Very insulting, sir. Okay, let's go. Look. Huh? Hmm? Huh? Whoa, check out this view. Is beautiful. I have got to get this on film. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but we actually went under that very bridge. So that's interesting. Because the dress was in here, yeah. I was from Tenebrae. Yes. Oh, come on, guys. It must have been a hard pill to swallow, being forced to lead his enemy's army. Poor souls. He and his sister. She doesn't Tell someone shoulders got the secretary the of Mago choice. again. Everybody she and the barkeep sure are friendly. Leviathan's my favorite. She's the meanest and strongest of all the six. Isn't she cool, Dad? <laughs> she is beautiful. 
Hmm, trying to figure out a way to do this. I really don't want to miss the whole treasure hunting thing for this place. Ah, why do you have to be on the bridge? How do I make the people go off the bridge? Yeah, these two old geezers are not moving. Excuse me. Lady Luna Freya. <laughs> he wasn't able to get anything out of our Camellia. Not if I know our secretary. Hmm. Maybe actually advancing the story will make those people move. Door should be up these stairs. It seems everyone. So. Shop. Let's buy some stuff, guys. And then if the story advances, I'm sure people will move. I'm sure they're just in the way to begin with. So the first thing we have here is the short sword, Durandal. A one-handed sword imbued with a holy power boosts the warp strike. Yes, please. And we're going to equip you. Drain Lance 2. An upgraded version of a unique pole arm crafted with insomnia technology inflicts heavy damage against a vulnerable foe. We have Jewel Code, a great sword made for dueling. It's usable only by Gladiolus. Okay, we'll equip that. We have Plunderers 2. Of course, they're an increase in what we have. The Delta Daggers. Okay, and we have the Enforcer for Prompto. A gun that's capable of inflicting fatal wounds. A gun that's, that, sh that description should be. Found a typo. Uh... Okay, and also, of course, we have a few different accessories, but I don't want to worry about them right now. What I want to do is sell the shiz I have. That got me another 10,000. That's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. And we're going to go back and we're going to not buy any potions because we have plenty. We are, however, going to max out our high potions because why the fuck not? Like so. Awesome. We can heal all of the damage. Okay, let's talk to this guy. I forget his name. Uh, Wescom. Let's talk to Wescom. Welcome to Accordo, lads. Sid mentioned you'd be dropping in. Wescom Armor, as you've gathered. My word, you've grown, little prince. Hmm. Ah, uh, but of course. <laughs> you were only a babe at the time. So that's the final member of His Majesty's retinue. That there's a lot we can learn from him. So this is your maiden visit. Enjoying it so far? You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. This country is a part of the Empire, isn't it? Oh, you're wary. I understand. But there's no need to jump at every shadow. Just be aware that the terms of our independence grant the Empire free reign to come and go as they please. We'll bear that in mind. It's admittedly a one-sided arrangement. Most everything we do requires Niflheim's permission. And they wouldn't knowingly permit the Oracle to appear before the public. How our government spun that is quite a mystery. Okay, so we can ask this guy some questions, so let's ask him everything, if we can. So you see lots of nifs around here? We do, sometimes even at my place. Theirs is a familiar presence, and the citizens don't think much of it. Though the High Commander did cause a stir when he showed up the other day. Bravest. So soon after they fell the Archean and Lucis, his arrival fuels rumors that they will next come to Altisha. The Empire is not content ruling all the land. They want the heavens as well. Okay, that's uh, probably true, actually. Uh, ask about Luna Thraya. You really think Luna will make an address? If every recent radio broadcast is to be trusted, absolutely. Where is Lady Luna Freya? In the city somewhere. But no one has caught so much as a glimpse of her. The media has been conspicuous in its silence on the matter. 
which speaks volumes of government intervention. That certainly explained the rumors of disgruntled Imperial officers leaving the city. Okay. And finally, we're going to ask about Leviathan. Has anything changed with Leviathan? For now, it's business as usual at port. But word is the government will soon open the altar of the Tide Mother. In preparation for the right. Ah, but on the other hand, they're scrambling to stockpile emergency provisions. This begs the question. If they're anticipating that the Hydrian will wreak havoc, why would they allow the right to proceed? Okay, well, that's everything we need to know. Let's move on. We're good for now. Well, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. We do. Thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, my dear Camellia, it's been a while. I heard about your distinguished guests. Ah, you've an ear for gossip. Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Clostra. First Secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know, we have Lady Luna Freya in our care. <sighs> and the Empire demands we surrender her. What? Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence I've come to discuss terms. With the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, come to my estate. She can be oblique at the best of times, but I assure you, her heart is in the right place. Oh, okay. Remember, your heart is yours to follow. Just see to it that you proceed with caution. Well, guess we need to go talk to Camellia. Yeah, like we have any other option. There's no telling how events will unfold. Let us prepare before making our way. Yeah, she can sit tight a while. Wow, we got an achievement for just meeting with Wescom. Okay, and that was an interesting turn of events. So, the first secretary of the state of, uh, state of Alticia came to meet us in person in order to, uh, tell us she has Lady Luna Freya. So, uh, these geezers still haven't moved, God damn it! What else are we looking for here? So there's only one place to go. So, if these guys haven't moved, maybe the women the other side have. Maybe they haven't. Maybe I actually have to go there. But, um, maybe I have to go to the, uh, estate first, but... Where are we off to? Well, we are going back to the Laville station because I need to check if those women have moved so we can actually get our treasure clue. Or our treasure. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. I can guarantee I'm going to get tired of hearing that real fucking quickly. However, this place is beautiful. And these women are still here, goddammit. Why won't you move? Why do you hate me? Just leave. It's only a small child. Just go. Take a picture with him over there. Look, you want that water wheel in the background. Goddamn peasants. Ah, uh, we've got to go to the estate, haven't we? We're going to have to come back. I'm actually really gutted. I thought I could just simply get there. Ah, uh, peasants will always keep me, always keep me from what I need to do. Okay, let's go to the estate. What did I tell you about singing, sir? I'd quite happily hurt you right now, but we've got to go to the ministerial quarter, and I don't know how to operate a gondola. Take me there, peasant.
Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. Okay, you gone to the riders, drivers, piloters. I don't know what you are when you operate a gondola. Sailors? Yeah, sailors is probably the most correct term. You love your job because you always say it's been a pleasure. Anyway, let's go in here. Let's do this thing. The negotiation about to begin with First Secretary Claustra. Engage her in a manner befitting a king and strive to win her trust and cooperation. Are you certain you wish to continue? Uh, we have no other choice, so let's hope this goes well, because I cannot remember how to do this bit. So let's just hope it goes well. Also, it doesn't, it's not saying about any side quests I'm on, so the treasure thing will still continue after this, I'm assuming. If it doesn't, I apologise, guys, and I failed to figure out how to do that. But let's do this. Thank you for coming. No sweat. First things first. Uh, okay, so we're going to be polite. Let's express our gratitude. Thanks for coming to greet us in person. It's the least I could do for a king. Westcom didn't extend me an invitation, so I decided to extend my own. Though circumstances have changed, both the king and the oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care. Okay. Um. Hmm. See, obviously, show concern for Accordo is going to be the one she wants to hit the most. But it doesn't mean it's the right answer. So I'm going to... I'm going to doubt her security. This could go horribly wrong. I do apologize if I mess this up, guys. She better be safe. She is. But whether she remains so depends wholly upon you. Now, let me ask some questions of my own. Why does the Oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian? Hmm... I think for this one, I'll also be truthful. She wants to forge a covenant so I can receive Leviathan's blessing. <laughs> the answer I wanted to hear. And yet, king or not, it can't be a simple affair for you to receive a god's blessing. Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. You know better than most what took place in Lucis with Archean. Tell me. What happened? Um. Hmm. I'm going to try and be shady. I'm going to answer in part. Titan woke up. That the Empire killed him. Thank you for being truthful. Ta ha! The Empire is on the move. And based on your information, we can be certain they mean to slay the Tide Mother as well. They will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. The gods and the Empire be damned. Uh... I'm going to allude to a common enemy. Hopefully this works. I don't suppose you'd cry over the Empire's losses? An intriguing suggestion. Uh, she needs help defeating the Empire. Uh, I'm going to cut to the chase. Seems to me you want a proxy to fight the Empire. Very sharp, Your Majesty. But before we go into that, there is one matter I'd like to settle. Okay. Without further ado, let us talk terms. If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation. 
Sounds doable. Uh, I'll help evacuate. All right. I'll do as you ask. I'm pleased to hear it. As long as the people's safety is assured, I have no qualms with your right. And that is not all. Once the right has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. Makes sense. Uh, I'm going to act confident. Not a problem. We know how to take care of ourselves. Thank you. I'm sorry we cannot do more. That's fine. As I'm sure you are aware. Few armies can stand against the might of the Imperial fleet. Yet me and my three companions have been doing it since the beginning of this game. That is all for the Terps. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? We do. Uh, agree amicably. All right. Let's fight together as allies. Allies? Such a vote of confidence. Well, you can trust us to do our part and keep the Oracle safe. Good. A final warning, though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning for both King and Oracle. Don't threaten me, you old hag. I'm going to return the threat. There will be a reckoning for you, too. A leader must know when to bring out the steel. Surely you understand this. I'm going to put up a strong front. We've already got the agreement. There won't be any casualties. Again, you intrigue me. You and your father are cut from different cloths. I wonder what manner of king you'll make. A difficult choice, I know. But if you try to... Damn it. Didn't mean to cut that short. It's time. Assign three of your own for the evacuation effort. Whom you choose is up to you. According to our intel, the Imperial fleet will be four warships strong. Steal yourselves for a full-scale battle. I'm glad we could talk. We can each act in our own interest to our mutual benefit. <laughs> Noctis won the First Secretary's unreserved trust. So that's the best outcome, right? I can't promise something I can't help. Of course. You certainly opened up to them, though. What can I say? I have a soft spot for the young and tragic. They've lost Regis. They've lost the crystal. Was it so long ago the last oracle was taken from them? We've seen the Empire go mad these ten odd years. Okay, so we got an achievement for that. As well, now we need to head to Laville. Okay, and we still got the scraps of mystery thing to do. It looks like it's becoming night time. It is night time. Please tell me those people have moved. Okay, let's do this. Gondola. Care to take a cruise? Yes, but I only want to go to Margo. And how did Westcombe get there before us? I'm a little bit concerned what's going on now because I can't actually remember. This is a very different episode. There's a lot, lots of diplomacy going on here. Lots of diplomatic shit. I'm not used to being diplomatic. When I want something, I usually just cut my way through it. Oh my god, those old people are still up there. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. My god, Westcombe can teleport. He's an alien. He's got warp strike. He can do what I can do. He got back here before I did. Yeah, these people are still here. I'm going round to the other way. Those women, I swear to god. Take me round the other way, gondola rider. Pilot, uh, sailor, gondola sailor-ish. 
Just take me to Laville. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. No, I'm not going that way. I'm going up here. Yes, it's clear. Last scrap of paper, where is it? In the bush. Treasure hunting's actually kind of fun. When there's actual treasure, at any rate. Sure went to a lot of effort for a game. We did go to a lot of effort. We got the treasure hunter in our Tisha achievement. So, another achievement clocked up. This game is kind of handing them out, but it's still fun to get, even though they're all the same. And even though they've made me hate cactus. Hate them with a vengeance, so I'm going to kill them all every time I see them. Okay, so that's good, but we did get an accessory. What was accessory? It was called target scope. What does that do? Uh, I can't equip it. Noctis, meaning Noctis. What about Ignis? Neither Ignis. It's gonna, it's gonna be prompto, isn't it? It is prompto. An exclusive accessory, exclusive to prompto, inflicts a large amount of damage on enemies in a weakened state. So he has silver bangle and bronze bangle. Even though I put both of them to give him a large amount of uh, HP. If I take that off, that only drops him by 200, and I want him to have that, so he can have that. Fantastic. Okay, let's go to where we're actually meant to go to now, which is... There is only the one place. There is nothing else left apart from the shop, which I don't need. Let's go to the hotel for the night. The Laville. Greetings. Will you be staying with us? Well, undoubtedly, sir. Let's take a break. Ah, uh, wait. I don't have an unfinished side quest. Don't lie to me, game. Head to the Laville. What side quest? Ah, oh, it's going to be one of those dick ones that doesn't appear on the map. That is kind of there. No. I just got the scrap of paper. It literally gave me the experience and everything. What unfinished side quest. The game's lying to me. It's a bug or something. Or there is actually one from a random person. Or I, there should be a random thing. Like that time I found the random cactus statue just lying around. I haven't got time for this. I have no unfinished side quest. With us. We will. You have an unfinished side quest. Take a break. Do you know what? It's telling me I have an unfinished side quest, but it's telling me to take a break. So I'm taking a break. Screw it. The summit. Could crash right here. Ditto. You can remain awake long enough to eat. looks good okay and we have sea bass saute and that gives us an mp boost and mp regen Okay, not going to lie, guys, but they are probably the slowest leveling up bars ever. But I refuse to press the A button and just make them skip up. So, very, very happy here. Although Gladiolas hasn't quite made level 30, everyone else has. And Noctis, of course, is level 32. Plus, we have 94 AP. Let's check that out. 
What am I going to buy? Uh, I'm going to buy this first. 50 of this. Enables the use of Fira. Sorry, Firaga, Blizzaga, and Thundaga. Yes, ultimate magic. What else do we have down here? Uh, Gravisphere. Activate to draw enemies in an area closer by creating a gravitational field. Sounds quite cool. That's weird that that's a Prompto one. Uh, do you know what? I was going to buy more stuff down this path because it's all like 50 now. But I really, really want to recover a bit of HP after blade warping. So I'm actually not going to buy anything else. I've increased our magic usage so when we absorb elemental magic from now on, we will be using the highest tier of the three elements. That will do for now. Let's move on. During the right, we must see to it. The Empire does not harass Leviathan. Gonna be tough to pull off before the King receives her power. And with three of us on evacuation detail. Indeed. The best we can realistically do is to help the Hydrian help herself. What kind of help are you talking about? Just like Titan, the Empire will seek to immobilize Leviathan. Ah, oh, with the harpoon things? If we can dislodge them from the Goddess, she will have a fighting chance. Sounds good in theory, but don't push it. It's pointless, unless you can get that blessing. Stay flexible, stay alert. All right, will do. If worse comes to worse, you can threaten to throw the trident into the sea. Then they'll listen. In the meantime, it will be well guarded. Better than the Oracle herself. Understood. I shall reclaim it at the altar. Remember, you'll be under Imperial Watch. Right. Think of it as a necessary evil in order to forge the Covenant. I am in your debt. Once it's over, you may go as you please. But you do so without our protection. So be it. You had better get going. Your public is waiting for you. Dear friends, I stand before you today with little hope the words I speak shall reach beyond these walls. For slowly but surely the light fades from our world and as it does the shadows shall loom ever longer until all succumbs to the darkness. Darkness that evokes terror, hatred, and sorrow in the hearts of men. The ashes of Lucis, a dream of peace, twisted into a nightmare of death and destruction, claiming innumerable lives and leaving myriad souls to suffer. Luna. Yet I beg you, do not surrender to despair. Have faith. For our gods watch over us. By their blessings, by the stars that light the heavens above, our world will be delivered from the perils of the dark. I stand before you here in Altitia to call upon Leviathan, goddess of the seas, spirit of the deep. By the sacred rite, I will commune with the Hydrian.
But first, I offer you my solemn vow. On my honor as Oracle, I will not rest until the darkness is banished from our world and the light is restored. Bless you all. Luna Freya, blood of the Oracle. Goddess of the seas, I beseech you, enter into this covenant that the king might reclaim the stone. On it. Then the rites already begun. Most likely. Time to lend the Hydra in a hand. Oh, and after some epic cutscenes and prominent words from Lady Luna Freya, it is time for us to get our game on. Let's fucking smash these guys up. Have a no. We're cutting through here. We have a lady love to go see. We need to be married. And we need to claim Leviathan. The power of the goddess. Goddess, technically, I guess. Leviathan. Let's go. But we are only playing as Noctis because our three friends... Well, oh, they're, uh, they're evacuating the city for us. Let's do this. Okay, we're changing it up. Let's get our spear on. Yeah, these guys are weak. Ow. He says, as he needs to drink a potion immediately. Damn it, game. Stop making me look stupid. I can do that myself. I don't need any help. Nice. Beautiful. Come, missed, bitch. Right from the get go. Yep, right from the get go, they're fucking with me. Everywhere. The, em the Empire is everywhere. Whoa. Nice. Damn it. I need to get back up. Mm. 
Okay, eeny meeny miny. You! Haha, <laughs> just one left. Damn it, I actually need a potion. Yeah, I got all of them but one, that's a shame. Could have done with actually clearing the whole lot of them, but hey, my action time was not anything special. Uh, let's just go down here, collect these. Music for this section is actually quite cool as well. We have heard it before. This is the same one as... When we're fighting our... It's basically every time we fight off the uh, Niflheim Empire, their Magitek troops. Awesome. That was easy. There was only three of them. We've got to get to those ships before, the, before they get to the Hydrian. Okay. That's just crash landed there. Aha. Uh Aha, -huh. uh -huh, done. That made things a lot easier. to drive the darkness from our star. <laughs> it is in receiving mercy that men offer praise, and in shedding grace that the gods solicit worship. I vow the king will prove himself worthy. Nice job finding this baby. The moment I saw her, I knew we'd go places. Not, can you reach? No! Ah! 
Okay, so uh, that was pretty crazy, Roy. Managed to do all those QTEs, but just flying around on some sort of guided missile or whatever it is. Uh, so we've got two options. Request her power or demand her power. Let's be respectful and request her power. I need your power! <laughs> Okay, into the fray completed. I don't think that was going to go well either way. If we had demanded it, I think we would have uh, got the same outcome. However, I think the whole section went beautifully. We've done very, very well. And now we need to kind of conclude what's going on. One thing to add is, I don't know if they would have had dialogue subtitles for the gods uh, if I had put the subtitles on, if we could understand what they were saying. I think it would have given us more context, but also I think something would have been taken away from the scene. It's actually quite cool to hear their language. I believe it's someone's voice deep and played in reverse, because that's kind of what it sounds like. Um, but it's quite cool listening to Luna Freya and Noctis kind of communicate with them, because they can kind of understand what they, they're saying. We cannot. So I prefer it not to be subtitled. Anyway, uh, Into the Freight is done. Let's defeat Leviathan. It's the trial of Leviathan. Okay, so deal with the Hydras and reach Leviathan. Ow, that did not work. Yeah, we do. We've got a time limit. Screw you guys. Okay, this way. King. <laughs> when the prophecy is fulfilled, all enthralled to darkness shall know peace.
Yeah, okay, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. The staff of Leviathan, the trident itself, was one of the 13 royal arms. And Lady Lunafreya activated the power of the Armaga, the actual full Armaga within Noctis. It's time for Noctis to rise from the dead and fight Leviathan, and that's what we're going to do. Noctis is using his powers. Press X, the X button to attack. To warp left and right in midair, press the left bumper and right bumper. Let's do this. We are literally projecting our weapons. Eat it. What are you doing, Lathathan? You're too slow. Nice, nice damage. This battle is actually ridiculously cinematic. I like it. I like it a lot. Look at that beast. Let's take it down.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what a fucking battle that was. Yeah, it was mainly QTEs, but uh, awesomely superpowered Noctis smashing the living shit out of the god that is Leviathan. And of course, we also earned the achievement for not missing any of the QTEs. So I know for a fact there's at least one boss battle I haven't had that achievement in. However, this is not the epic finale to this episode. Let's carry on. Noctis? Uh, Luna? So, you found your way here. <laughs> and you found me. A chance to see you once more. <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, what do you mean? Why wouldn't you see me? Because my prayers have been answered. My calling fulfilled. But that doesn't have to come between us. You are the one, Noctis. The stars shine for you now. That which is yours by right shall be restored to you. Do you remember the flowers of Tenebrae? It seems so long ago. You'll find they await you still, blooming from hill to vale. Will you be there? Uh, uh, mm. Would that I could join you. Uh, but this moment mm. will have to be enough. It's not right. to save you. When the world falls down around you and hope is lost. When you find yourself alone amid a lightless place. Look to the distance. Know that I am there. And that I watch over you always. with us. Mm. 
I'll tell the others. Though it may take a bit. You're hurt. Ah, oh, small sacrifice in the greater battle. And Luna? She has passed. <gasps> Umbra left that for you. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of Chapter 6, Callings. And what a very sad and heartbreaking ending to a chapter that is. We had the final battle against Leviathan interrupted before it even began by Arden Azunia, who delivered a semi-mortal wound to Lady Luna Freya. And upon doing so... She had to try and take command of the Hydrian Leviathan using the Trident of Leviathan in order to try and control it. But it didn't work, so therefore Noctis was attacked and also mortally wounded. But with the power of the Trident, she managed to manifest the full power of the Armager, his true power of the kings within him, allowing us to fight Leviathan one-on-one -on -one and do a massive amount of damage to it. However, with the wound she sustained, upon Noctis basically winning the fight, he ran out of energy. The energy she used within the Trident to keep him or his life force sustained. So when he fell from the sky, he was then dying and she used the last of her own life force to keep him alive. Therefore, ending her own life. When Noctis awoke, of course, the battle was over and Lady Lunafreya 
was dead. Also, Arden Azunia and the rest of the Niflheim Empire also escaped. However, she managed to leave our King of Light, Noctis, the Ring of Lucii, in her death. We also noticed at the end of that episode, Ignis happens to have a scar over his left eye. He has indeed been blinded whilst trying to evacuate the civilians and stop the Niflheim Empire attacking Noctis. However, to explore that, you'll have to wait to the next episode and the next chapter, and about time too, because it's nearly been two hours again, guys. And I have to say, I absolutely fucking loved this chapter, or chapter six, and this episode, although we didn't do that much in it. It was all story building, all world building, and that's because it was a pivotal chapter and the death of our beloved Lady Luna Freya. On top of that as well, we also got the awesome boss battle against Leviathan. But yeah, absolutely loved this chapter, and it didn't require quite so much grinding on my part. However... We have run out of time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely, definitely enjoy playing. As usual, I have been Lord Exus. And I'll see you guys in the next video. In a bit.